Welcome back. This is Justin, and you're watching the CNR Collector Channel. And today we're going to open up my last spam can of uh, HXP M2 Ball. So, in this video, we're going to open this can up, and uh, I'm going to go over a little history about the company, and we're going to look at everything inside and uh, do a quick uh, summary of what we got. And uh, at the end, I'm going to do a dissection of the actual M2 ammo contained within two. So now that the spam can is open, let's go over uh, the company that produced this stuff. Um, it dates back all the way to 1874, and um, its secondary company dates back to 1887. There was a merger in 1908, which created the Greek Powder and Cartridge Company, also known as by the acronym PyroCal, and I'll throw up the actual name of the, the company uh, because I'll butcher it if I try saying it, but you'll see why they adopted PyroCal. Anyway, PyroCal uh, from 1908 on had significant highs and lows uh, due to World War One and the Spanish Civil War and um, occupation during World War II, but they made it out of it, and uh, they still exist today, and they fall under the uh, Hellenic Defense Systems, also known as EAS, who makes uh, products for the Hellenic Army. All right, so we've got the four bandoliers removed, and... Uh, it looks like they're all different. So you got like a tan one, a dark green, and then two uh, light green. Well, maybe they're not all different. Looks like we've got two of the same kind. So this says. Caliber 30, ball, M2. Eight round clips, HXP 4009-62. So the bandolier is at least from 1962. And if we looked at the box, different lot number, different date. Uh, let's see if we can make this one out. It looks like that's the same. HXP 400962. Now the tan one has no, it has no external markings on it at all. And then the darker green. I cannot make that out. 
I think it says caliber 30 M2, but then I can't read the rest. Let's check the back side out. Cannot make out that date. I think that might be a 62 right there. But it says something MFG company. So a manufacturing company. And then I can't tell. This bottom one says. So now we looked at the bandoliers. Let's see if the clips and stuff are any different. So these two look like they're the same. So we'll start with this one. So these should have eight rounds in an in-block clip. Some slight corrosion on the back. With a number, looks like I-57 or something like that. And then let's see how old the ammo is. So it's from 72. And it looks like all of them are from 72. So possibly reused bandoliers. But the ammo is actually from 72. And then they should all have a cardboard sleeve to fit on there too. Let's see if this other bandolier is any different. So this one has a different stamp on it. Looks like MB2. This one SA. And seventy-two. So, looks like ammo production is all going to be 72 dated, as the box states. But it looks like you might get random uh, bandoliers and random in block clips. So. Alright guys, so here is the M2 ball round. You can see its head stamp is uh, HXP. Uh, 1972. It's got three stakes on it, so it's military crimped, and it does have a sealant sealing up the primer, that green stuff. Let's take some measurements. So we've got an overall length of Three point three one nine five. Let's go ahead and break it down, see what the components look like. So as we dump this out, you're gonna see a spherical or ball powder. Uh, the total weight is fifty-three grains. The reason why they were using this powder was Parcal was part of the US offshore procurement program and they're working with Winchester Western to produce such rounds as the 30 out 6 and the 303 uh, possibly at the Piraeus factory uh, and this powder is either an Olin ball powder or a Greek copy of it and we can see that magnified in the corner there here is the projectile. You see that it's a uh, flat based projectile. Spitzer, full metal jacket. Uh, it is magnetic. So it does have a component inside that is steel and it seems to stick to any direction 
I did take a knife earlier. So you guys can see that. Uh, it does have lead at the base. And this is copper jacketed with caliber. And then there's some type of black sealant. This weighs 150 grains. All right, and projectile. Point three zero eight five. Now we've got the brass. You can see uh, it has been annealed. And let's let's see what the overall length here is of the brass. All right, so brass length is two point four nine. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.